donating more than 112 tons of gold. Say more than 112 tons of gold. More than 112 tons of gold. From coffee, from coffee, and 262 tons of refined silver to be used for overlaying the walls of the buildings. And for the other gold and silver work to be done by the craftsmen. Now then, who will follow my example and give offerings to the Lord today? <laughs> it's in the Bible. That is David talking. Can I see squeeze this time and share this with you briefly, please? Yeah, yes, I did the mathematics last night. Did I tell you? Yes. What David did if it was today in France CFA, it will be three thousand billions about the gold he gave, four hundred and twenty eight. No, no, 3,000 trillions, 428 billions, 10 million, 28,993 francs. I don't know what I've got very well. Are you hearing that figure? That's how much gold he gave, practically today. So that is why he more than the state budget of several countries in the world, you know. So he was in charge of the continent, as a matter of fact. Then, the silver he gave can amount to. 96 billions, 916 millions, 731,792 francs. If I if you do the conversion today, first of all, check the worth of the tons in US dollars, then change it to francs if you ask him today if you want to give it today. That is how much a man gave for the construction of the church to beautify the house of the Lord. Can I say this to you? You don't beautify the house of the Lord and you remain impoverished and look for the No. God ensures that you are also beautified. Hear this, when he did that, he read this same chapter forward. God rewarded him, gave his son, Solomon, to take over his leadership. One of the things that God rewarded David for, or, or rather, was long life. Verse 28 of 1 Chronicles 29 says, He actually lived long on earth, having enjoyed a lot of riches and wealth and honor. He lives how long? Very long. Here it is. If there are good men who have a heart for God, do you think God will want them to die early? You didn't hear that. If there are men who sacrifice for kingdom's sake, do you think he will allow them to be sick? No. Laborers are few. Harvest is plenty. So God makes sure he keeps the few laborers healthy and equipped. Now, you will think Solomon will do otherwise. Read first Kings 3. Solomon did a sacrifice 1,000. He did 1,000 bed offerings in Gideon. Build the house of the Lord, constructed the wall of Jerusalem, and built the palace. It's like the presidency of today. And get <laughs> in First Kings 10, his wisdom that God gave him that led to this world was so shocking that all the dead non presidents in the world came to Africa, came to, to, to Asia to learn of his wisdom that led to these riches. And he amassed fortunes that was more than what his father had at first. So it made generational effects. Your children will never suffer poverty again in Jesus' name. Amen. By reason of every sacrifice you do in the kingdom, God will keep you perpetually rich. Doesn't mean you should give several billions. No. In please permit me, let me. I will just please this quickly. I know there is time. Time is running. In Mark 14, she gave an expensive perfume. Are we together? Go and do your conversion today. Because that perfume today should be costing around 650,000 francs a day. It was today. That's how much a young lady took and put on the body of Jesus Christ. Say the body of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who is the body of Christ today? Say the church. Yeah. That is a figurative representation of bringing beauty to the house of the Lord. You know, Jesus there also represents ministers of God. So when the Bible thinks of pastors, some people want to talk. Can you do the work we do? Come on, now, guys. Hey, he's just coming. Well, that's why they gave him a car. I'm not seeing anything yet. We will own and buy off cities. After Jerusalem, Jerusalem was called the city of David. We build a city. David city. Can you imagine? We will build cities. Oh, yes. Do you understand this wisdom? That is practical demonstration of sacrifice, and most people are remembered forever. If you go to Luke 7, the Roman centurion did. You come to Acts 10, Cornelius did, and God remembered all of them. Sacrifice solves problems that you never pray for. Amen. Amen. Rapidly, let's conclude now with the anointing oil mystery. You may want to write certain things, just look on, let me say this. This is deep now. By the time we take our offering, I want to anoint everyone before we go, I beg of you. 
You see what is standing in that bottle? I tell people, you see here, the thing is oil to me is a wealth and fortune. Because of the instruction I was given to do it about it. On it, all the power of the Holy Ghost for preservation, for protection, for increase, for exploits, for dominion, whatever you can name, has been put in this thing trapped like this in the container. If you have no demon in you disturbing you, I anoint you, you won't fear anything. If there's a new spirit in you, it can't stand. Never. I have seen it practically ministering to people. People who make mockery of the anointing. The anointing is carried in the word of God. It can also be conveyed to any object. Anything I touch is anointed. It's anointed. I'm not bragging. I'm telling you this that has worked properly. Rabbi testimony. A young girl who was about to be operated two weeks to the GC exam from law. It was cancelled by prayer and the application of the anointing oil. Then she came to Bamila yeah, in the writing centers. The mother technically applied the oil, the anointing material in Arabic oil, said be using this. Make sure you use every day. When she applied it, guess what? In that same lodging place was like a dormitory where all the girls were sleeping. Strange insects, cockroaches were coming at night and eating up children's body, disturbing them from sleeping every night. Say witchcraft. witchcraft. Oh, yes. Then this girl's territory was a no go zone. It was a no fly zone. You can't cross. There was heavy guard watching. She was sleeping in peace. Say preservation. preservation. Say exemption from disaster. Exemption. By the application of the anointing. What are you talking about here? She was not touched, and people started calling her a witch. Of course, I know. Why is there all those bodies are being disturbed and people are pressing, some are collapsing, nothing is happening to you? The secret of the Lord is with them that love him. So there's a mystery about the use of this oil. Oh, wait a minute. They take your book, you sat there, someone passes here and gets the dust of where you sat. You hung your address in the house, someone takes it. They do incantations, it works against you. When we also want to use the oil as instructed by God, we want to talk. People go to gather places and bring talisman also. They even call it a pigeon liar. That means the thing is deceiving you. <laughs> liar. Liar. You carry a liar with you. And they believe in it and it works. So <laughs> How much more of the anointing oil? You hear me? There are some of you sitting right here with force of wickedness after you in a way you don't know. By the time this thing touches you, go back home and relax. Let them come at night again. Let them affect your finances again. This is an anointing that will catapult you to the next level of mental financial dominion. Amen. Some of you come from typical families, they say no one will succeed. Let's see. You will succeed by power, by the anointing. Amen. In Psalms 86, verse 17 forward, David has been anointed by God. And God said, because of this anointing on David, touch David and you will be my enemy. I must make sure I protect the anointing. Please listen to this now. Angels get activated to defend the anointed of the Lord. Each time the anointed, the anointing is touched. Do you hear that? Let me say that again. This look always important. As a child of God that you are, each time the anointing on you is touched, let's say someone casts a spell on you and you are suffering sicknesses, angels go on the move to protect the anointing on you, not necessarily you. And you benefit by reason of that act. Amen. So it is written in Psalm 105, verse 14, 15. Touch not my anointed one, and do what? My first one. Amen. So the anointing literally protects, it attracts you to great men. My head is anointed with oil, my cup overflows, surely goodness and mercy will follow me. Say goodness. Goodness. Say mercy. Yes. They come from two Hebrew words, chain and keset, which actually means grace and favor. It also means good opportunities, good people. When I be attracted to me all the days of my life, what will be the result? I will be in the house of God, testifying of the effects. Amen. Amen. Please, I pray that this word gives you or changes you. So there's a mystery about this oil. I can anoint you for financial exclusion. I mean it. Amen. And you may ask me, why is it that it may not work on me? That we work on instructions. Trust me, there are things I pray for people in heaven. I'm shocked. These are the very things I'm asking God for. He's not doing it to me. I can get angry. I'm telling you the truth. What is the meaning of this? The girls are happy. Tell me, it doesn't work, but he gives an instruction. Do this for this person. That is because there are deep things about the spirit world that we can't understand. 
we are agents in God's hands. Hear this. Talking before you is an anointed person with the hammer of the Lord. And every horn of the devil that raised against you, it will be cracked down. Leadership of the devil, guns against your destiny, will be completely watered down. Yeah. Will trample on the brass of. Let's say this with a prayer. Rise up. Rise up. And this declaration after me. Let's say that. Rise up. Lift up your hand. Say, I am anointed. I am anointed. I have been imparted. I have been imparted. By the word I have received. By the word I have received. I will never be the same. I will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of I will never be the same. I will never be the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am anointed. I am I am equipped. I am I am empowered. I am in Jesus' name. I am blessed. I am blessed in Jesus' name. I am blessed. I am in Jesus' name. I am blessed in Jesus' name. I am blessed in Jesus' name. I am blessed. Give the Lord a clap shout out. God bless you so much. This is our message. Be in touch with me.